A4 Media, all rights reserved. What's up, girl? Ain't nothing. This nigga ain't here stressing, talking that old off the wall, back to Africa shit again. What? That guy body shit? Yeah, that dumb shit. I'm trying to get up out of here. I hear that. Alright, so this is my reality, uh. Um. In order to, you know, um, better the situation, you know, our mothers and daughters gotta be secured. Um, our mothers and daughters are the bearers of the the life of our people, man. And it's really unfortunate that our mothers and daughters have been attacked from all sides, enslaved, as written in King Ferdinand's letter to the Taino Arawak Indians, right? This is pure strategy that is in full motion right now, man. That ties into being promiscuous, which is risky as fuck, especially now. All right? It also ties into um, general instability. If it's not consistent, it's inconsistent. And this is what's been groomed. This is what's been bred throughout our society. You know, bitterness between our mothers and daughters because fathers and sons. Well, it's a trickle down effect. What's happening, man? How you doing? All right. Yes, yeah, trickle down. Sons become fathers, and so you know, if you had an abandoned mother, all right, or whatever may have happened that you know compromised a relationship that the mother had with the father, whatever may have happened, all right, that daughter and that son feels it. They feel the effects of it becomes a naturally unnatural situation now and we're talking about things on a on a multi-generational level now multiple generations have experienced this the past 40 years alone 50 years has experienced this sabotage to what's known as the family structure This, in my opinion, is a root of the social ills. The abandonment, the mistreatment, this patriarchal, foreign, manufactured bullshit has compromised our family structure, our relationships with each other. Various forms of abuse is known and held as family secrets. That's internal fucking turmoil. Internal conflict. In all these homes. What was supposed to be a home. And then these people come outside. The adults come outside as if nothing happened. Daughters and sons come outside and something is obvious, something has happened because they are demonstrating it in public now.
So basically what that goes into is we have a duty and a responsibility to secure our mothers and daughters because our sons will become fathers. Balance is thrown off. Reality is altered. And it's 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 horrific, man. I mean, you really see this shit. It's really fucking horrific, yo. I mean, people talk about unity, divide and conquer, and people know all of this shit about the Bible. But what does it say in the Bible? A divided house will fall. Some shit like that, right? A divided house will fall. There's many falling houses, man. I mean, it's not even a house no more. I mean, shit, man. Motherfuckers falling in apartments and shit. They falling in goddamn um, shared living arrangements, right? With their roommates and shit. So you got a whole bunch of dysfunctional people. People that have been sabotaged. People that have been dealing with internal turmoil for quite some time now. That's just going through some shit. The alignment of mind, the alignment of spirit, alignment of focus, the relativity of energy essentially has been distorted, has been disrupted, has been disturbed in all of that. And what can be done about it? It's obvious what can be done about it. Do what you know you're supposed to do about it, man. We all know what we're supposed to do about it. First and foremost, man, I encourage maintaining the dignity, honor, and integrity. Knowing what you're doing out here. Knowing what you're focused on. Knowing where your energy is going. And your energy is not limited to currency. That electrical flow in your body, man. What is that? What is, what is that contributing to? You see the movie The Matrix where it showed the um you know the dude waking up and he's basically like these battery packs. <coughs> I mean what are you powering? What are you powering? What are you empowering, huh? What are you contributing to the production and the improvement of most? Analyze the percentages of your energy. Look around you. Observe nature. What is nature contributing to? What is nature supporting? And you see it doing it in what's called harmony, right? The selfishness, wastefulness, distastefulness. And there's a list of these things. Disturbances, turmoil, abuse, sabotage, deception. All these things contribute to disharmony. What are you communicating? What's in your nature? What's not in your nature? Is it nature being abused? Is it being distorted? Is it being wasted? I mean, these are questions we have to ask ourselves. What exactly are we doing with ourselves? Each and every single last one of us. What are we supporting? Are we supporting each other? Are we supporting things outside of each other? What can we do to get back to supporting each other? I mean, there's a list of things that can be done. <laughs> it's a list. It's obvious. It should be very obvious. 
But without effective communication, without quality patience, without knowing what your mind, spirit, body, and focus, therefore energy is invested in, what do you know that you can truly do for you and yours? Cowboy season is over.